On behalf of the Chicago Province Jesuits, Christian Life Community in Kenya, and the whole community of St. Aloysius Gonzaga High School in Kibera Slum of Nairobi, I'd like to invite you to watch our new video, Voices of St. Aloysius Gonzaga, in which our, our students share their experience, share their hopes, and really voice their gratitude for all you are doing for them. Welcome, I'm Francis Odongo Ogutu as uh, St. Aloysius Gondaga, Gonzaga High School 2008 graduate. Uh, I want to present to you voices of St. Aloysius Gonzaga students. I hope you will enjoy and share in the feeling of the experiences of these youngsters from Kenya. Welcome and enjoy. Most people in Kabera are suffering, really suffering. My dad had passed away. He died from AIDS and my mother is also positive. She has the, the virus. When I realized that my mother was, in a, was not in that position of paying for my fees or catering for my education. And then I felt that now it's miserable to me and it's as if I'll never, I'll never be able to achieve what the goals that I had in life. I got a vision. And then in the vision I found myself in a school in Nairobi and I had a voice speaking to me, telling me encouraging words, words that gave me hope, that let me not worry of my schooling or academical work. God will take care of that. At that time my mom was very sick, she couldn't do anything. So I came to the principal and I told him my problem, I was alone. I told him my problem, I told him that I want to be in school, I desperately need to be educated, but I don't have any other way, so please, if you could just do something about my state. And he was, yeah, he was generous enough, and he told me that one thing he told me, of which I always remember, he told me that I took you into this school because you're determined, and I thanked, I, I thanked him for that too. By that time, my sister had been lived, staying in Nairobi, so when she heard that I passed, she came at home and told my mom about St. Al's, that there is a certain school at Kianda in Kibera, which can afford paying my school fees. When I heard that, I was happy and I came with her. I finished my primary education in 2006. Mm -hmm. But at that time, I didn't know where I could get the money to continue the studies because my mom is a housekeeper. She always just finds uh, jobs to, any temporary job that she can find around so that she can work to, to support us. My neighbor who was studying here, he was a boy named Calvis. He knew about my background and what I was going through, so he came and told me, oh, Esmas, I know that you, are, you can do better than what you have done, so why don't you come and try your luck at St. Charles where you can get help? So I said, yes, let me go and try. Then I came and enrolled 
and I got a chance of becoming and joining the centers. It's like I was having nowhere to go. I was stagnant, and uh, the only solution that my aunt was, the advice that my aunt was giving me is to be married or to get somebody who I can stay with. But it was very sad for me because I, learned, I, I, I love learning. After some six months, she got a message of St. Aloysius. so much about this school is that not only do they provide for us education and the teachers to come to class and just learn all the subjects that we need but as in the people around school the teachers and everyone around us is always like concerned about our welfare the teachers want to know if you don't come to school what was wrong how is your family going on how are you coping up if you have a problem you can go to a teacher who is close to you but we also have other things outside there that are that are compressing that are pressing us down and we need someone to come to and talk to and that really i love that about that about my school generally I love the determination of the students and the hope that the teachers and the administrators of the school are giving us all the support. You must not only concentrate on learning, but also love people around you so that you can become a, good, a better person in the future and serve others in the same generosity that the people around you have served you with. We, we learned that it's a mission school, St. Aloysius Gonzaga Secondary School. It's a mission school, a Catholic mission school. Mm -hmm. And the mission is that all the students that are enrolled in St. Aloysius, they are preparing them to be men and women for others. And therefore, I'm happy with that. I really like that. And for sure, I'm really happy to hear that I'm being prepared to be a man. The opportunity that they give us is very excellent. They feed us. They buy us uniforms, mm -hmm. and uh, even most activities, we go for games, they provide us with everything, textbooks, exercise books. Mm -hmm. I think it is a very good school. Mm -hmm. I was grateful to join a school which is St. Al's in Kibera slums. This is because, according to me, better I go into a certain school which can give me hope, of becoming, becoming what I want in the future. When I, I came, I was really about, uh, happy about it because if it could have been that I had not enjoyed this school, means, it means that I could have gotten married a long time ago. Because according to our community, the girls of age 15 and above, they, if there is no sign of education in them, then their parents always always take them to be married. So I want most schools to be in Kibera, like St. Aloysius, it will really help people. As someone, maybe a benefactor, just may think, okay, I'm just doing this, I'm helping them. And he, he might not even think of the other things that, that he's doing. But he, not only does it, he do that, bring the money in, but he also helps us to grow. He helps us to grow, as in, to grow like these people who are responsible in the, in the country and to become women and men for others, of course. <laughs> I can say they have made a very big change in my life because as per now I would be somebody of over three or four kids but my views I would just like to become somebody in the community who can also have a position of helping other people too. I've become a more man and man person because if I could be there now outside the school I could have been now, I don't know, but I could have 
just in the street. Now I thank Central Lucius for that. So I think I've become a better person. Yeah. That make a very big difference, considering that when I was still in primary, I will, I always just thought of myself as a, a single mother child who will not have anything in the future, no direction. But when I came and joined St. Charles, due to the activities that we do in the schools, I have come now to realize and I have now more self-esteem that I, I will see myself as a person and I can do better than what I had done before. Yeah, before I came, people in the community, people were always saying that I, I will never go to school. But for God's grace, it has happened. Through St. Al's, people at com in the community do say that I'm always a very respectful person. Whatever I had longed for, whatever I had been nostalgic of to learn, I'm now getting it. I'm able to get the knowledge. Therefore, to, to, to love others. I'm also interacting with different people from different parts of the country in which I describe them as one community. Kind of, it's something that is so strong, you know, as in me being in St. Aloysius makes a difference to everyone. I learn in St. Aloysius and I'm proud of my school because that school has made me whom I am today. That is the impact that St. Aloysius is bringing out through me and I really love that. I want to thank you for your generous support of St. Aloysius Gonzaga Secondary School in Kibera Slum of Nairobi and invite you to consider continuing to support us. For just $1,000 per year, you can support one of our high school students for a year or one of our graduates in community service followed by going on for a college education. Thank you so much for your support.